Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. I try to do at least one, two videos a week on something unique. Um, I have another arc fault issue going on. Um, my brand of my panel is Eaton, and it's the green black breaker type, not the CH Brown. Um, so it's called the BR series. Here is the house. Uh, the house is seven years old. The complaint is, is the we're tripping in the garage entry front porch and not sure where else. Possibly the vacuum was causing an issue. Um, everything in the house is off except for this circuit. Uh, right here, I've got a couple incandescent loads. I have right here, LED load outside. Two halogen loads on a sensor for um, motion slash dust to dawn. And then in the garage, I've got four or three, four, one, one by four, four foot uh, fluorescent T8 with the old school magnetic ballast. So here's a great example of four different types of lighting um, bulbs or devices on the exact same circuit with nothing else on it except for one other plug right there. Um, the issue that I was having was a complaint that the old vacuum was causing an issue. That's a Hoover. That thing was drawing 10 amps. So of course it was drawing an issue with just these lights on. I was drawing 15 and a half amps. This guy then we plugged in their new one and this guy is a rock star. It's called the Rocket. It only draws 4 amps. So it wasn't causing an overcurrent draw. Out here I did have my motion sensor freaking out a little bit so I thought it might have been that. I started disconnecting switches. But the minute I seemed to plug in the vacuum cleaner I stepped on it that would spike the load an extra amp it wasn't an over current draw I brought my hair dryer in put it on low setting at about 600 watt added about four amps was opening and closing the cool on it to try to get it to use a motor and heater load definitely didn't cause it to trip until again I had that light switch on for the outside and the vacuum then I went and grabbed the toaster out of there that's 1200 watts, plug that in, make sure I was under 15 amp, not a problem. It seemed like it actually cleared it up, so when I had the lights off, the toaster on, and plugged the vacuum in, it was not an overcurrent draw, but it didn't trip. The minute I took off the toaster and I put on the hair dryer, it seemed to cause an issue with the spike with these motors. So I robbed Peter to pay Paul for another circuit, tested that old breaker in the other area, which is actually the brand new breaker changed out two years ago. It didn't have an issue in the living room. Put on the older style um, BR series breaker, I'll show you. And that one has not had an issue now. So for some reason, these older Eaton brands seem to tolerate more um, different types of loads. So again, you have LED fluorescent uh, incandescent halogen. And you're, this is going to be, I think, what we call a non linear load with the old magnetic ballast. And then on top of it, you got your old your newer motor load for your vacuum cleaner, which is still going to be a motor load, but it's still going to be more of a cleaner because it's just a newer type energy efficient vacuum, not 20 years old like the old school Hoovers. So um, this right here, I can't really narrow it down. There's not a lot of junctions. I've got maybe three outlet light junctions and then these three socket junctions with a couple of fixtures in there. The house is new enough, it's not sockets. Um, I'm definitely going to be narrowing it down to swapping these breakers out to see if that's going to be the issue. I've been here an hour and a half. We've done every sequence of turning lights and switches and switch legs on and off and opening stuff up. And now I'm definitely not seeing that issue. So again, these things can be a bit of a nuisance issue for them tripping. But you can't just assume that it's a one-stop deal sometimes. We don't typically warranty those service calls for 30 days because... Who knows if they've added one other thing and plugged in and caused it to trip again. But there is a few things that we educate the homeowner on what to do. So if this happens again, our customer here knows to turn off the outside porch lights. We'll now get in the attic and start pulling out that security, uh, or excuse me, the motion sensor security part that was added. That was not part of the normal wiring. So next we'll be digging into, for instance, these up here. You know, what if these cords are starting to stress hanging sideways or the, the sockets? Um, I had one just uh, last week that we had an issue on um, for one of those china hutches. And it was an old school method that they used to actually uh, put on a plug cord and plug in. It was like 70 year old design. And so that was causing the arcing because as soon as I found it and was pressing on it, it would trip the arc fault. 
It wasn't just a normal socket. So we just took a Home Depot socket we've had on our van, plugged it in, wired both of those uh, switch legs that go to the different tiers of the lighting for that China hutch, and we were good to go. Um, so anyways, guys, don't assume it's nothing wrong, but again, hopefully it'll help you out. But again, Eaton is the brand. I hope you uh, manufacturers watch me. I have more issues with these green BR style than I do other brands in these newer homes. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Have a good day.